This video is going to demonstrate how to create a jigsaw puzzle for a clue. So I've titled this Google drawing word lock. And all I did was it consists of two objects. I have a text box that has the word lock Acropolis, and then I have a photo of the Acropolis. So anyway, I'm just going to move that back to where it was. So, um, Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe make the text nice and big. We'll say maybe size 120 or maybe even a little larger than that. Whoa, huge. All right. Anyway, so that being said, um, what you're going to do, again, you want to make sure it's maybe not so huge that it goes off the screen. We'll say perhaps 180. Um, so then next, what we're going to do is once you have your word lock all set, you're going to click on the file menu and then download, and you're going to download it as a JPEG image. All right, so then from here, I'm just going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go to Jigsaw Planet. Um, and if I just search it, it's going to be the first link that comes up, jigsawplanet.com. And then from here, what you want to do is, um, I happen to already be signed in, but if you were going to create a new account, you would simply click on sign up. Um, you would add a username, email, password, confirm that you're not a robot and sign up. Um, anyway, that being said, I'm just going to um, sign in because I happen to already have an account. Um, so anyway, that being said, this is what the homepage is going to look like. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the Create button, and then you'll choose the file that you want to use for your jigsaw puzzle. So I'm just going to click on Choose File, and then I'm going to find the WordLock JPEG that I just downloaded. Click on Open, and then I have the ability to decide how easy or difficult I want the puzzle to be. The default, just as an FYI, is going to be 35 pieces, but if you want to make it more or less, you can always do that. Um, so then that being said, you can choose a shape and then from here, what you're going to do is, um, you can choose an album. So I might decide to create an album, but it's again, not super important. Um, and then you're going to click on create. So then what's going to happen is it's going to make a puzzle of your word lock. And so what students would have to do is they would have to put it together to discover the word lock. So you'll notice that I titled it word lock again, so that way my students will know. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna keep this open for now. I'm gonna go back over to my escape room and I'm just going to click on any one of my invisible links. I'm going to copy it and then paste it. Um, and then from here, I will move it and I will edit it. So let's just say, for example, I want to put my new invisible link right here. I want to make me make it a bit bigger, um, you know, totally up to you. But anyway, so then from that point, you're going to click on the pencil to edit the link. You're going to erase the link that's currently there. You're going to go over to your jigsaw puzzle and you're going to copy the link to your jigsaw puzzle, head back over to your escape room slideshow, and you're going to paste the link and then click on apply. So then from here, when students click on that, they'll be able to click on the jigsaw puzzle and it's going to bring them to the word lock clue. Okay, so anyway, from here, what we're going to do, um, we happen to have all of our clues now. So we have our directional lock clue here along with our map. Um, we have our color lock clue here. We have our um, word lock clue here. Um, if we go back over to the Google site that we created, um, we happen to have the number lock already in the bold text, which is the year that the Phaistos disk was discovered. Um, so anyway, that being said, from here, we're going to be ready to publish our site. So um, you'll find the site that you created. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on publish. And then you want to, um, you can edit the web address if you want, and you want to make sure that you decide who can view your site. So if I want everyone in the world to be able to view the site, I'm going to click on manage. And then from here, I can either add people or groups. Um, so that's totally up to you how you want to do that. Um, but anyway, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish my site. 
And again, so the, the default is going to be so that it's um, able to be viewed by people in your domain, but um, you will be able to change that um, basically by going into your settings um, and then you'll be able to decide who can view it. Um, but it's totally up to you. Again, if you want to share it with others, you click on the share with others, which is the little person with the plus sign. Um, and so then you would be able to share it with different people and different groups. Um, again, totally up to you who you want to share it with.